Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. And today I have a special guest with me. It's one of my really good friends. I talk about him all the time. Whenever I'm talking about like, you know, oh, I was on the phone with my homeboy and we're having a really deep conversation. This is him. So I've been asking him to come on my podcast. I'm like, we talk about so much stuff. Like we need to record this and like, you know, bring our phone conversations to the masses. And he was hesitant at first, but today I got time. Hey. Today I got time. Today I got time, <laughs> so he's here, my homeboy Tiny. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> so yeah, Thank today. You for having me. No, definitely. So today he does have time, cause okay. So we are here, and we just want to hit on. It's so much stuff that's going on in 2020, isn't it? Man, it's too much. It, it really to is. Get it is. It's like every day, like I told you yesterday, we had talked no, the day before, and I was like, oh, don't worry, there'll be more news. It, it, every day there's something. Steve Rodonis is in effect. You <laughs> forget to that shit. Right. I was like, there's going to be more news. There's going to be more stuff going on. So I wanted to hit on the Kanye thing. I had talked about it yesterday. And, you know, I was in the middle of, like, you know, editing the last podcast when all that mess happened with him going on that Twitter tirade and him going off, you know, as a man, how do you feel about the situation with Kanye? Uh, so I feel like Kanye is out of his mind. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> One minute, it feels like a publicity stunt, like he's got something to sell, which he usually does. Or the next minute, it's like it's a desperate cry for help. Maybe it's both. Mm-hmm. How can you one minute you're crying and you're saying all this outrageous stuff about her incoming, and then the next minute you're also bringing up how you got your gap ass, and then at the end of this little tirade, you said, Oh, now I'm going back to working on music. By the way, uh, down is out Friday. Now, that's the part that I had missed. So he, he had to come back after I posted my video. And because I remember when I was in the middle of shooting the um, thing about Kanye, the last tweet he had posted is he was going back to go work on music. And then you stated that he came back and said that his album is dropping this Friday. Mm -hmm. That is insane. Um, like, like how, how crazy are you? Are you, are you crazy like a fox or is it just kind of it comes and goes it's in and out? Right. It just, it's starting to be a bit much, and I think it's starting to be a bit much for everybody because we don't know how to take him. And it seems like every time he wilds out and he says crazy stuff, all of a sudden there's something else dropping. A new album, maybe. new clothing line, new pair of Yeezys. Maybe he has marketing Tourette syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> like when you, you learn all that rage of things, but you also find a way to incorporate something that you're selling. It may, maybe that, you know what, we, you coined that shit first. Maybe that's what it is. He has marketing Tourette syndrome. He knows he has stuff dropping. Half the population don't really fool with him. So let me play on emotion. Let me break down crying. Maybe Kanye is the smartest person in the room. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. look how many emotions he takes us through. Like I said, even on Sunday when I did my live stream, at first we were pissed off. Like, hold up, here you go again. Disrespect another black icon like Harriet Tubman saying that she didn't free anybody. She just took a bunch of black folks to go work for some more white people. And mm -hmm. so everybody was mad about that. And then like 20 minutes later, another video goes viral of him crying, talking about his daddy tried to abort him and he was going to abort his daughter. So it's like he just takes us through a range of emotions where we do not even know how to handle Kanye. And then when these emotions show up as songs on his album. So last time when he dropped that Ye album when he was in Wyoming and shit at everybody out there Kumbaya. Mm -hmm. He uh had the song where he went into how Kim stood by his side and had Charlie Wilson in the background saying and shit. Like she she stood there with me when after I said that dumb shit about slavery being a choice. And then he also had that song drop where him and C I were going back and forth about that. Mm hmm So should we expect a song this time to where 
he's talking with somebody else about Harriet Tubman, and then there's another song on there where he's talking about, you know, like how he's against abortion and, and he's for pro life. So, you know, the, down. the thing I don't crying understand, like right? Like the whole the whole breakdown in him crying, and I guess some people felt like, oh, you know, he's he's doing the most with that. I don't unearth like, you know, people are like really offended the fact that he even talked about his child and abortion. But like I was saying in the video, mm -hmm. this is not like this is normal conversation. Like the average person in this day and age and hell, even back in the day, most pregnancies are unplanned. And when you find yourself in a situation where you are pregnant, that is a conversation, you know, if you are in a relationship with somebody or, you know, whatever the relationship may be, that is usually the topic of conversation. What do we do now? Are we going to yeah. keep the child and raise the child? Are we going to be together? Are we not going to be together? Are we going to have an abortion? Are we going to keep the baby up for adoption? Those are the choices that, that couples or people who find themselves in that situation have. So I'm not shocked about the conversation, but it's also a conversation that I feel like it wasn't the public's business because that daughter yeah. has to see that. You know what I'm saying? 10 years from now when she's 16, like, damn, yeah. my parents tried to yeah. abort me real quick. And she's gonna get there crying like he was crying. Yeah. Like, what the hell? My dad trip. Like, his dad's probably sent some there. Like, rolling around like I'm a floor. Like, what the hell is going on with this dude? Right. He's just out crying like that. Like, yeah, and it was just like, it didn't make any sense because he went from almost blaming Kim, you know, oh, she had the pills mm -hmm. in her hand, she was ready to, you know, swallow them and, and kill our daughter, and then I had an epiphany from God, and God told me not to, you know, abort her, and then he went from pra then he went from that to praising her, like, oh, even if we get a divorce, she had our child, and that's all that matters. It's like it was double speak. Did, did he say this before or after the Harriet Tubman shit? This was all after the Harriet Tubman thing. So, hmm, so did he really just know he said something outrageous as hell? So did he try to combat that with like, it, it'd be the equivalent of like you're performing and you say some weak shit or some dumb shit, so you're about to lose the crowd. Mm -hmm. So then you say something that's gonna make everybody clap. Like, right. So all these women look good at you and they give it up to these ladies. Who's not gonna clap? Right. So you, you bust out crying and shit. And everybody's like, oh, we love you, Kanye. And I was like, that two seconds before that, people was about to walk out the room. Yeah. And there was even right. a black girl on Facebook, the one that he was, I don't know if you saw the video of him getting into it with her, and he's basically saying he doesn't have to address her because she has a mask on her face. And oh, so, I see. So yeah. Like yeah. So he was he got into it with the with the young black girl and she talked about her experience on Facebook, how Kanye treated her funny. But then the other white girl that was in the crowd that was also, you know, talking back and giving him dissension, Kanye allowed her to come up on stage. So I, I just I, I don't know, you know, if this is a mental breakdown and this is mental illness. You know, I, I pray he gets it together and he'll be okay. But again, it's hard for me to take it all the way serious or take him sincere. When every other time he does this, he turns around and he's like, new album dropping. That's true. Is it? <laughs> We're laughing at him, but he's really laughing at us all the way to the bank. That's how I feel. I really feel like he is laughing at us all the way to the bank because he knows at the end of the day, you know, he can always fall back on the crazy train. Oh, I wasn't he myself. Had, I was going crazy. He had 20, 20 tapping to the back of his hair. Right. Like, how am I supposed to take you serious? He had on a, a, a vest. Was that a bulletproof vest? Or just a vest? It I'm not. Security. It just says security. That looks as silly as hell. Like, why does he have that on? And that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to know how to take him because he's just so over is the top with is, everything. Is that vest going to show up in a gap ad? <laughs> right. <laughs> Remember, he had the women's looking clothes, and that shit showed up everywhere. You said which clothes? Remember, he had them clothes with like, like a homeless person designer? Yeah, with all the holes in them, and they were all those drab colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that, that shit showed up so for two and three hundred dollars. Right. You're going to be surprised. You're going to see somebody on the street skateboarding with a, a security vest on. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else was funny was when he was talking about, you know, he was dropping a lot of hints. You know, he was mm -hmm. talking about, you know, getting locked up like Mandela. Um, he was talking about, you know, he's blasting the whole NBC Bill Cosby thing. 
Mm-hmm. So do you feel like in a way he was trying to get a message out? Because some people are looking at it deep as well. You know, the things that he was calling out, you know, the Google searches like Google, you know, Holly Berry. Some folks even saying like, hey, you know, is he trying to low key have us look at these people because they're involved in Pizzagate or, you know, something crazy like that? Yeah, it's weird. I was like, Holly Berry? What does Holly Berry have to do with any of this? Did he play Michael Jackson, black or white? Mm-hmm. What the hell was the message, huh? Like, <laughs> I had to go there because I don't know how to take him. I really don't. It's like it just makes no sense. Like he's just so all over the place, you know. And then he was throwing out that Shay, uh, the shade at Shay LaBeouf. You know, and basically saying that, you know, Shea basically dissed him and didn't help him with the golden line and all this other stuff. And then blasting Kris Jenner. Um, yeah, they're, they're probably going to end up putting him in the crazy house for a bit and reprogramming him or something. He'll go to the crazy house and the crazy house will be in Wyoming with a studio attached to it. And we'll hear that all these people flew out there and recorded with him in the crazy house. Kanye has the best album rollout ever he does he does this song, this, 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 even the campaign rally this sounds like an out rollout like how ill would it be if i had like a campaign rally and then he'll just turn around he could spin this any way he want like the harry tubman thing he could spin it he could come back and say well what i was saying was harriet tubman freed the people and then they went to work the white people what i was trying to say was we needed to have ownership they should have been able to go work for black people. Right. He'll find some way to he'll find some way to spin it the same way he spent that slavery was a choice and mm-hmm. came with the free thinker thing and Yeah. The problem is now though, you didn't you've been calling out Chris Jenner by name and you're calling out NBC in uh E. So now you're starting to mess with their bag. And that's an issue. That's an issue. I, that that's gonna be that's where he's gonna start to get in trouble, or is this gonna get spent into another episode of their show? Like how uh, everybody went nuts when Kim and her sister was slapping the shit out of each other, mm-hmm. and then it ended up just being another funky episode of the show, right? And well, now everything's they, all good, and Courtney's coming back this season. <laughs> they, they they blur the lines, and it's all it's like it's like wrestling. There's always like a, a story, there's an angle, mm-hmm. and then there's a character arc, and then. Next week, somebody else, and it's like, and, and instead, of, you know, like on wrestling, the, the the Rock and John Cena get into it, and there's this big story behind it. They don't like each other because backstage, just blah, blah, blah. And it all builds up to a pay-per-view, and that's the conclusion of it, right? Right. Well, with Kanye, the conclusion is an album. It's all this drama, all this shit leading up to an album or a clothing drop with the gap. Mmm. <laughs> But I wonder how they're looking at this because I saw their stock drop a little bit. After I heard about that. Bullshit. Yep, I heard about their stock dropping. What's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.